Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week we're here with Dragon Shield, so please welcome Chris as we try to figure out which tribal commander is best in casual EDH. I'm Chris. I work for Dragon Shield. We have a lot of fun making accessories for card gamers. We're really passionate about the stuff we do. So first up we have me on Edgar Vampires. Tyler's playing Zyrus Snakes. Chris is playing Muxus Goblins. And Cameron's on Kalia Zenith Seeker Angels. <laughs> Draw a card. I have a Cavern of Souls. I'm going to start things off right with this tribal game. And Cavern of Souls naming vampire. Cast Stromkirk Noble and make a vampire. Pass turn. Draw Wooded Foothills. I will pass the turn. I'm going to grab a breeding pool with that and go to 39. I'll draw Mountain Pass. All right. I will draw. I'll play a Plains and cast the best tribal creature in the universe. The Universal Automaton and pass. Untap, draw a card. Go to combat. Chris, welcome to the show. I'm going to attack you with two vampires. All right, I'm going to take two. <laughs> Get a plus one, plus one counter on Stromkirk Noble when it deals damage. In phase two, I will cast Vicious Conquistador. Make a vampire. And I'm also going to play a Savvy Triome tapped. Pass turn. Seems like a lot of stuff for turn two, Dylan. Maybe you should cool down a little bit. It's two vampires. Oh, that's four vampires. I cast two vampires. Yeah, it's but you, you do it's your fine. math right. It's fine. Sure. All right. Play a Spire Garden. Cast a Rampant Growth. And I'm going to go find myself a basic ass forest and then pass you, Chris. Draw. Play a Mountain. And tap two for a Strionic Resonator. And then I'll pass. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I'll get a draw. I'll play a Swamp Rapto Signet and pass the turn. I will untap, draw a card. Go to combat. I'm going to attack all of my vampires at Tyler. Vicious Conquistador trigger to have each opponent lose one life on attack. 38 on the trigger. Five total. 33. Stromkirk Noble gets a counter. Play a Castle Lockthwain untapped since I control a swamp. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Make a vampire. Cast Idol of Oblivion. Draw a card since a token was created this turn. Move to end step. And since Tyler and opponent lost four more life this turn, I will get a counter on Knight of the Ebon Legion. Untap. Draw a reflecting pool. Cast an instant signet. Cast an impact tremor. Siren Storm Tamer. I get a trigger from the Siren Storm Tamer, don't I? And then I'll pass. Untap, draw, another mountain, Cranko, Tin Street, Kingpin, and then I'll pass. I will draw Isolated Chapel, cast a Talisman of Hierarchy, run out Arcalia Zenith Seeker. So when she enters, I'm going to look at the top six, Righteous Valkyrie, pass a turn. Go to me, untap, draw a card. I'll go to combat. Tyler, I'm going to attack you. Vicious Conquistador, each opponent lose one life. Yeah, I will take nine, go to 23. Second main, off Cavern, Falcon Wrath. Pit Fighter. I'll make a vampire. Then I will tap Idol of Oblivion to draw cards and send me a token. Play Mutual Vault as my land for turn. Activate Falcon Wrath Pit Fighter, discarding Insolent Neonate, and sacrifice a vampire, this tap token, to draw two cards. And I will activate this since an opponent lost life this turn. Cast Vampire of the Dire Moon, making another vampire. Go to my end step. Oh, sorry. Stromkirk Noble should get a counter when it dealt damage. End step. Knight of the Ebon Legion gets a counter since an opponent lost four life. Pass turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Come on. Cast my commander. Impact traverse will trigger. Each opponent will take one damage. And then I'll pass the turn. All right. Sorry. I'm going to drop a mountain swing Cranko at Cameron. And there's a trigger. I'm going to tap Shrinic Resonator to copy the trigger. So I'm going to put a plus one counter on Cranko and then make goblins equal to his power. So I'll make two goblins. And then that copies. Then I'll make three goblins. And then you've got a three, four coming over your way. I'll take the three. Second main, battle him, six mana. And then I'm going to cast Muxus. Top six cards. And all goblins with CMC five or less are going to enter the battlefield. No. <laughs> um, no. That's a big whiff. Pass. My turn. I'll get a draw. We'll play a planes as lane for turn. Righteous Valkyrie. Combat three in the air with Vigilance flying over at Dylan. I will accept three Vigilance flying going on to 35. I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw card. I'm going to cast Pact of the Serpent. Nine cards? Oh, you get I nine snakes, right? Nine snakes and impact tremors will deal nine damage to my opponents. I think I'm too used to CDH. I'm like, yeah, nine cards, 18 life. That sounds like a great deal. Play a Luxury Suite as my land for turn. I'm going to cast this Vampire Cutthroat. Make a Vampire. What's one more damage? I'll draw another card with Idol of Oblivion. Snake. Cast a Shadow Alley Denizen also. Making a Vampire. Chris, I'm going to come at you with Vampire of the Dire Moon and Vicious Conquistador. Vicious Conquistador your attacks, everyone lose one life. I'm going to throw one goblin in front of the Vampire of the Dire Moon and take the one. These guys will trade and I'll gain one life link. Go to back to yep. 17. Uh, I'm going to go to discard. Discarding three lands and a vampiric right.
Knights. Untapped. Draw. Chris, can I interest you in drawing some cards? I'm pretty tempted, so yeah. I am going to attack you with my commander, Cyrus the Writhing Storm. Okay, I have no flyers. Take three. Damage trigger. 15. You and I will both draw three cards. Sweet. And then that means I will make three snakes. And we all lose three? Yes. Fiery Islet. Cast Edric, my master of trust. Good old main phase two Edric. I love it. <laughs> I think I'm going to pass the turn from there. Hunter, draw, mountain, seeding song. Two of those for blade of cells. Gonna add oh. one to equip the blade of cells to Muxus. With the equip on the stack, I think I'm gonna generous gift the sword over there. That happens. I get a elephant and I think I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna play a mountain, Seraph Sky's Blade. So I get a Righteous Valkyrie trigger. When it comes into play, I'll gain seven life. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna swing Kalia down at Tyler and Righteous Valkyrie over at Dylan. You don't draw a card if you hit me though, Cameron. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I don't have much card draw in this deck versus what everyone else is going But he'll make with. a snake and we'll lose life. Tyler, I'm gonna come at you for three and Dylan, I'm gonna come at you for two. I will take three and go to 19. I will accept two and go to 12. So I'll draw a singular card. You said you would draw a card? Yes, so I did. I will make a snake and each opponent will take one damage. I will pass a turn after that. Untap, draw a card. How many counter spells do you think Tyler runs in his deck? Not many, I think. I want to say there's three in this deck. <sighs> With the Cavern of Souls, I'm going to cast Captivating Vampire. Make a vampire? Yep. Tap the new vampire and these four tokens here and try to gain control of Tyler's commander, Zyrus. Sack Siren Storm Tamer to attempt to counter that ability. Okay, I'm going to try to do it again. Shocked and appalled. Yeah, I'm not doing anything about it this time. My commander is gone. This Mystique is your commander. Urborg, Tomb of Yagmoth. Cast Phyrexian Altar. Sacrifice these five vampires for five black mana and cast Olivia's Wrath. I've got nothing to say about it. Oh, wow, nice. 40 get wiped. I'm going to come at Tyler for five damage here. Take five and go to 14. I'll gain one from the lifelink from Cutthroat, go to 12 and get another counter on Stromkirk. I made a token this turn, so I'm going to draw a card with Idol of Oblivion and draw a card. That's it. Go to my end step. Knight of Ebon Legion gets a counter. And tap Frontier Bivouac tapped and pass the turn. Tap, draw, Goblin Instigator, make a Goblin, Legion Warboss, and then at the beginning of my combat, I make a Goblin token that has haste, and it must attack, and it's going to say hi to Tyler. I just like that. I will take one, go to 13. I'll pass the turn. Go to mine, go to draw, play a mountain, cast a Rampage of the Valkyries. So when it comes into play, I get a Sarah Angel. Tyler, I'm so sorry. It should have been two more damage. I forgot Captivating Vampire. The Lord is out. Okay, I'm at 11. I'm at 13. Sorry, sorry. Slap this Dark Steel mutation on the Captivating Vampire. I love that. <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice it in response to the Phyrexian Altar. Okay, sounds good. I have no other plays, then I'll pass. I was really happy to get rid of this Captivating Vampire. That's like the secret commander of this Edgar deck, and I have a lot of really expensive angels that I will feel really bad if they just get stolen. Number one, you're completely right. It is a secret commander of this deck. It completely can take, can take over the game. Last turn, if you'll remember, I actually could have just cast the Olivia's Wrath, and I would have been able to attack for a lot more. I was looking to get the Captivating Vampire out first because having Captivating Vampire out for long amounts of times will definitely win me the game but obviously looking back i probably should have just olivia wrath and attacked draw card cast anointed procession sacrifice a vampire for red mana cast stromkirk captain lord lord and first strike plus one plus one two. <laughs> tap with idol of oblivion to draw card I'm gonna go to combat. Cameron, I'm gonna send these guys at you. Tyler, I'm gonna attack Vicious Conquistador and Shadow Alley Denizen. There's some Intimidate that I should be giving out, but I'm not. I'm also gonna come at Tyler with the Falconrath Pit Fighter and a Vampire Token and his own 3-5 Flying Commander, which is one boost because of it's a vampire. Vicious Conquistador trigger. Everyone loses one. I'm gonna put my angel in front of the Stormcork Noble. Sure. That seven mana that I had there was very much for a big rift. I knew it. Your commander's in your hand. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now we got a game. Go to my second main phase, Blight Step Pathway as the black side producing. Which one is the right one? I don't know. I think the uh, Vicious Conquistador. I'll play that one first. Make a vampire. Go to my discard. Number of times that Rift is the only thing that saves you is just... It's alarming. <laughs> it's, I think it's a necessary evil. It's not sense. even an evil. It's just necessary. I'm going to discard a lot of good cards. Soren Imperious, Blood Lord, Phyrexian Altar, Knight of the Ebon Legion, Strong Noble, Vampire Cutthroat, Basic Mountain. Go ahead. Well, untap. Cameron, your artifacts are up. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Cast these Swift Foot Boots. Cast my commander. Pay one and equip Swift Foot Boots to my commander. Chris, 
I want to draw you more cards. All right. I'm going to count you for three. I'll take three. Sweet. Go Let's to, both draw three. I will make two snakes and have three impact tremors triggers. Second main, I will play a force that I drew for turn, and I will play a Llanowar Elves. Impact tremors trigger and pass the turn. Now I'll untap, play a Mountain, Nyx Lotus, Goblin Instigator. Discard to hand size, Empercleave, pass. Ooh. Get a draw, play a Command Tower as my lands. The Talisman again. Racto Signet again, and we'll cast the Rampage of the Valkyries again. Get another 4 4. Pass the turn. Draw a card. I'm going to cast Shadow Alley Denizen. Make a vampire. Cast an uncountable Edgar, Charmed Groom, aka Dracula the Voyager. Vampire token, Shadow Alley Denizen trigger, make Vicious Conquistador have Intimidate. Dracula trigger, make the token have Intimidate. Play this Idol of Oblivion. Tap it since I made a token to draw a card. I will make a stake and everyone will lose a life. Combat. I'm going to send these two guys at Tyler. Vicious Conquistador trigger, everyone loses a life. I will go down to five. Pass turn. Tap. Draw Play a Prismatic. Vista, hard cast a crater hoof. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That'll do. He's effectively adding 49 to the board Don't without his own power toughness and without everyone else's. And then since Zyrus will be plus seven plus seven, if Zyrus connects, the impact tremors will be 10 because I draw cards equal to his power. Oh, that'll do it then. Ooh, good game. All right, Cyclonic Rift and Crater Hoof are really good in casual commander. Should we go to another game? Let's play another game. Let's do it. Draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Yavamaya Coast and then pass. I'm gonna draw, play a mountain, skull clamp, pass. I will draw, command tower, pass. Draw a card. Concealed courtyard, cast indulgent aristocrat, pass. I can't believe I'm doing this this early. Your end step, I'm gonna lose one life going to 39 and mystical tutor. Put a windfall on top of my library. I will untap, throw that for turn, play a mountain, and cast a stomach signet, and then say go. Try not untap, draw, play a mountain, conspicuous snoop. So I'll play with a top card revealed. Play he said conspicuous too. Cameron, he's just like you. <laughs> you can call cards whatever you want. <laughs> Oh, conspicuous. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, I'll pass. All right, I'm going to draw planes and cast a talisman of conviction and then pass. That's me. Untap. Draw card. Combat. Tyler, I'll get you for mm -hmm. two. Yep, 37. I got a Thran Quarry Vampire Socialite. And I cast that. I'll make a vampire token. And since uh, an opponent lost life this turn, each other vampire control gets a plus one, plus one counter. And then pass turn. Untap. Cast a Kodama's Reach. Fire the forest, air an island. I'm trying to fix the sun situation. We're playing at a different time than normal. Can't even see my commander. Yeah, what's going on with your glare? I was going to say, what's going the on? The window's here? literally like right <laughs> above my playmat. I have the forest here tapped, and then I'll play island as the land for turn, and then I'll pass. Right, on tap. I'll draw the Skirk Fire Marshal, reveal a mountain. I'm going to play Buried Ruin, Goblin Instigator, making a token. And I'm gonna tap one to equip the Skull Clamp, sacking the token basically. I'll draw two. You get to see what it is. Sword of Hearth and Home and a mountain. And then I'm revealing a mountain on the top. I'm gonna to swing conspicuous <laughs> Snoop at Cameron. Alrighty. For two. Going down to 38. Then I'll pass. I'll get a draw. Let's play a swamp and cast uh, a Luria example. Allure, uh, what's her name? Ar Aurelia. 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 Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to cast Aurelia Exemplar of Justice, and then we'll pass. Okay, go to me. Untap. Draw card. Looks like Tyler's wide open again, so... Tyler, I'm coming at you. Mm -hmm. How much? Eight damage. Take eight, go to 29. I'll gain two from the lifelink off of Indulgent Aristocrat. That's 43. Cave of Koilos. Cast Falcon Wrath Gorger, get a vampire, both enter with plus one plus one counters because an opponent was dealt damage this turn. Cast Unholy Efficient, same deal. They each get counters and pass turn. Yikes. I'm gonna pay five and cast my commander. I would pass. Tap, draw a mountain, revealing another mountain. Land for turn, tap one to equip the skull clamp to instigator, drawing two, draw a mountain. And another mountain. Nice. Revealing a Legion <laughs> Warboss. Three for a sort of hearth and home and pass. Uh, we're gonna draw. I think I'm just gonna do it this way. We're gonna play a land. We're gonna go to combat. We're going to trigger Aurelia and we're gonna have her get plus two plus O oh, and gain trample and vigilance. And we are gonna swing this now four five over at Dylan. I accept those terms. It take four damage? Yep, four damage. And then second main will cast Rampage of the Valkyries again. So we make a 4-4 four, four flyer and then pass the turn. All right, go to me. Draw card. This is casual, so we're allowed to hold grudges from game to game, right? That's how it works. 
<laughs> Excuse me? I take it I'm getting killed for no reason other than I won the last game. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Realistically, I don't know who to attack. There's no one good. You already ramped twice and played your commander. I guess the, the person who's been drawing a ton of cards, except we've seen all of his cards and they've all been mountains. It's just mountains, man. <laughs> so I'm not really scared of that, but I am definitely scared of Zyrus always. Uh, calling the weak, sacrificing one of my vampires to make four black mana. Red and a white, losing another here. Cast Edgar Markov. Tyler, I'm gonna attack you. Go to combat and declare some attacks. I'll go in sideways, except for Unholy Efficient, but only because it has Vigilance. Edgar trigger, they all get counters. Okay, can you tell me the total power and the highest individual non-Edgar power? 26 is the total amount of damage. Edgar is the biggest one. It is a 5-5 five, five first strike. This has Menace. Doesn't Falcon Wrath Gorger put counters on for something or something madness? Falcon Wrath Gorger gives all vampires in my hand madness. Okay, whatever his stats. It's a 2-1 base power with two plus one plus one counter, so it's a four three. I will block that guy with Zyrus. Take 22 and go to seven. So Falcon Wrath Gorger dies. I'm going to gain life off of the Indulgent Aristocrat. I am going to play a Sacred Foundry tapped as my land for turn though, and pass. Chris, I'm going to come at you with my commander. I'm sure you're sick of hearing that by now. Okay, I will take three. Let's both draw three. I'll draw a Legion War Boss, another Mountain, and a Brightstone Ritual. I will make three snakes. I'm going to play an Island as my land for turn. And I think now is the time to windfall. Cast a windfall. So I think Chris has 10. That will be the maximum. Yes. This card, Luminarch Ascension, Graven Karens, Reanimate, and Akroma Angel of Fury. Two lands. Four mountains, Spinerock No, Kate Walling Bogart, Blade of Selves, Skirk Fire Marshal, Legion War Boss, and Brightstone Ritual. Yep. Water Life Grove, Arcane Denial, Scythe Denial, Cure Great Glass Spinner, Teferi's Puzzle Box, Will Signet, Into Tomb Chain of Vapor. We will all draw 10. You guys get to see my hand, by the way, because of uh, Conspicuous Snoop. So, Destructive Sick. Tampering, Goblin Assassin, Nyx Lotus, Majoring Network, Commune with Lava, Dockside, Matron, Sharpshooter, Mountain, and Myriad Landscape. I will make 30 snakes, cast in Nature's Lore. I'm going to find a basic forest, and then I'm going to cast a Birds of Paradise. And then I'm passing. I'll untap, draw a Condra's Closet, revealing a Lightning Crafter. I'm going to play a Mountain, Goblin Sharpshooter. I'm going to pass, I'm going to discard to hand size. Oh, I'm one card at a hand size. Goblin Assassin. All right, we'll go to my turn. Draw, play a Fury Calm Snarl. Revealing a mountain, so it comes into play untapped. Keep in mind the conspicuous Snoop has the activated abilities of this guy, so he can tap to lightning bolt something at the moment. I'd like to move to combat. We get a uh, Aurelia trigger to give itself plus two, plus oh, trample, and vigilance. We are going to have Aurelia come in at Tyler, and we're going to have the other 4 4 flyer come in at Dylan. No blocks. I will put Birds of Paradise in front of it. So you'll still take three with the trample then. And then Dylan, you'll take four. Then Sunblast Angel. Destroy all tapped creatures. Yeah. No, no. I have to discard two cards. I'm going to get rid of a mountain and a mountain. Untap. Draw a card. Play Castle Dracula. Shadow Alley Denizen. Make a vampire. Cast Sanctum Seeker. Make a vampire. Have Shadow Alley Denizen. Make Unholy Efficient. Have Intimidate until end of turn. I'll go to combat. I'm going to attack you, Tyler. Sanctum Seeker triggers. Each opponent loses one life and I'll gain a life. Down to 30. And seconds. then I die. And then I have a 3-4 coming at you. Yep, I'm dead. You said at the beginning we can hold grudges now, right? That's, Absolutely, that's yeah. The okay, cool. Yep. I'm going to hold the grudge on this one. <laughs> <laughs> you have 30 snakes. I feel like it's kind of fair to try to want to attack you, but maybe I'm wrong. I'll go to a discard and I'll discard the Savvy Triumph. On your end step, I'm going to bolt the uh, creature on the right. Then I'll untap, draw the Lightning Crafter, reveal the Brash Taunter, play a Myriad Landscape, and tap six for Muxus. I'll reveal the top six. So that's a Warren Instigator, Krenko, Tin Street Kingpin, and a Brash Taunter. They do not have haste. Ooh, <laughs> wish I had the mana. I mean, uh, I'm not sure what most of these cards do because they're goblins, but it's starting to look scary. Now I'm going to pass. Go to my turn. Get a draw. Let's cast Arcane Signet to get started. Let's play a Blood Crypt untapped and go down to 35. We'll cast a Fire Diamond. Cast a Mother of Runes. We'll cast a Torian Mauler as well. I put Torian Mauler in my deck because I wanted a way to sneak Ishai in there. Move to combat. Have an Aurelia trigger and we'll put it on Aurelia herself. We are going going to swing eight vigilance in the air over at Chris. I'm going to swing four in the air over at Dylan. I'll take four. I'll take eight. Pass the turn. Untap. On your end step, I'm Sorry. going to tap the sharpshooter to ping your vampire tokens. Yep. He'll untap. And I'm also going to ping the mother of runes. Mother of runes is down. Untap. Draw a card. 
Play Orborg Tomb of Yagmoth. Cast a Winds of Abandon, Overloaded. Ping you for one with a sharpshooter. I will take one damage, go to 32. Chris, I'm gonna come at you with Sanctum Seeker and Unholy Officiant. Sanctum Seeker trigger for two, each opponent lose two, and I gain two. I'll take six. Pass turn. One tap. Draw mountain eight for Muxus. Muxus is here. That's just a siege gang commander. I get three one one goblins. Lightning crafter. When it comes in, it champions a goblin, exiles Muxus underneath it, and then I'll pass. I'll get a draw. Play an arid mesa as land for turn. Cast Avison, Angel of Hope. I'm also going to cast Kali on my commander as well. Put an Angel of Despair into my hands. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw card. Path of Ancestry tapped, cast Talisman of Indulgence, Idol of Oblivion, Florian Voldaren Scion. Make a vampire. Mm -hmm. Tap Idol of Oblivion to draw cards since I made a token. I'll just pass turn. I'll untap, draw, land for turn, equip Sword of Hearth and Home to one of these goblins. I'm going to swing a 3 3 goblin your way, camera. Before blocks, I'm going to fetch, get myself a planes, generous gift, the sword. Yep. You get your thing, and then I'm going to pop Kalia in front of the 1 1 that's coming at me. This goblin is dead. Second main, goblin matron. Ooh, okay. I'm going to search up a skirk. Prospector enters my hand, play it. Conjurer's Closet for the hell of it. Dark side, six treasures. Use one to equip the skull clamp to one of these goblins. I'll draw two, sack three, play Imperial Recruiter. I'm gonna get a goblin chirurgeon, and then I'm gonna sack one treasure to play it. Then I'm gonna go to end step, trigger on the Conjurer's Closet. Conjurer's Closet is gonna blink the Lightning Crafter, and it's gonna land on top of the Muxus again. But when it goes away, of course, there's a Muxus trigger. I'll reveal top six. So that's a Torch Courier, a Chieftain, and a Goblin Lackey. I knew I should have waited <laughs> on the Winds of Abandon. Yeah, the issue, if you pull the Winds of Abandon trigger a little too early, sometimes you just give everyone the mana to cast all of the spells in their hand um there was a windfall pretty recently wasn't there yeah tyler did that whoops and then i'll pass turn oh, bro. i'm gonna go to combat i'm gonna swing 11 down at chris yep down to nine i'll cast a soul ring the angel of despair which when it enters the battlefield i think i just need to destroy the conjurer's closet another angel mirror entity i'll pass why didn't i kill chris here's a line i didn't see if i would have just <laughs> so if i would have just run out the soul ring and then cast a mirror entity right away before combat i could have given them base power 12 and then just attack chris for lethal instead and uh, draw card cast dracula the voyager AKA Charm Groom. Make a vampire. Scry off of the path of ancestry. Bottom Viscera Seer. Make a vampire. Draw a card with Idol of Oblivion. Orzhov Signet. Tap that for a black and a white and use the white for Legion's Landing. When that comes in, I'll make a life linking vampire. Pass turn. Bolt you with the Lightning Crafter, Dylan, and then I'll take my turn. I'll bolt you, Cameron. I'm going to sack the Lightning Crafter with the Skirk Prospector for one mana, and then Moxus comes into play. I'll reveal top six. Okay, that was really good. So I got a, a Wily Goblin, which is going to give me a treasure. I got a Goblin Thrashmaster. I've got a Hobgoblin Bandit Lord, War Chief, Ringleader. Revealed the top four. Goblins going to my hand. No goblins. Then I'm going to use the one mana from the Prospector. I'm going to tap three more. Cast Changeling Berserker, which is going to go on top of Muxus. Then I'm going to sack it with the Prospector for one mana. So I'll reveal the top six again. Just a Battlecry Goblin. Tap four for a Krenko. Destructive Tampering. Oh, all my creatures have flying. Then I'm going to tap Franco to make 16 goblins. So I have 17 1 1 goblins. Tap 2 to activate the Battlecry Goblin once. Goblins get plus 1 plus 1 0 and haste. Tap 1 and the Hop Goblin Bandit Lord. So I've had 22 goblins enter the battlefield. So I'm going to deal 22 damage to Cameron. I'll send 8 1 1 goblins at you, Cameron. And then the rest is going over at Dylan. And they all get plus 3 plus 3 right now? Plus 4 plus 3, actually. Yeah, I'm dead. We're dead. Nice. Okay, so we have many goblins. Yeah, man, I love Muxus. What an incredible game. Holy Jesus, goblins. Out the I feel like I won this game because I cast Avacyn and it resolved. <laughs> and Angel I, of Despair. And I attack. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I cast Vampires the entire game, so I'm completely happy. That was an insane showing of Muxus, though. Muxus is such a cool card. It's kind of like Winota. It feels like Winota. It's the same idea. And I think this was a super fun showing of Muxus. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so at Patreon, like our $50 patron. Julius Cortana, Byron Wang, Jared Silver, C, Kwaji Ahamid, and Anime Titties, Jacob Depp, Reese Uker, Unforeseen God, Kai Hornisher, CZ, Michael Ballou, Jan Wildfang, Adrian Grimm, Sleepy Jarvis, Tommy the Oddball, Swampy McGee, Peter Larson, Cameron James, Jormax, Ugly, and Moxfield.
Thanks, y'all. Check out our bonfire store for all of our non-magic merch. If you want to check out any of the cards that we played today, you can do so at our TCG Player affiliate link down below. Our Alto Sleeves affiliate link can get you 5% off your order, so check that out there, too. Or you can go to our Dragon Shield affiliate down below to support the channel. And PlayToWinMTG.com has our original playmats back in stock, so check that out, too. That's it. Fuck yeah, Dragon Shield. How do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of this? I didn't see any snake lords.